Hello, I'm Bob Rizzo. I'm very pleased and proud to present Mr. David Howard. David is one of the most prominent ballet teachers working in the world today. He has trained the absolute beginner student to the stars of the ballet world. Presently, David is coaching dancers from American Ballet Theater and the Royal Ballet. David? Thank you, Bob. Welcome to Turns, Leaps, and Bounds. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so thank you for asking me. Sure. Um, as in a class, we all start at the bar and we come into the center. This is going to concentrate on the center practice going into the pirouettes, the jumps, many leaps and bounds, <laughs> and many turns, I hope. I use these kind of combinations every day in class, from beginners through to professionals. The steps are not difficult. You can always make them easier or, I hope, more difficult. So, welcome to the class, and we will now begin. I'd like to introduce you to Eureka, who's going to do a 32 measure adagio, and she will turn and face upstage and demonstrate it so you can see it from the back. Arms one, and open to the second, and two. A grand plié, for two, three, and four. Turn five, six, release seven, and uh, eight. Ronde de jambe en dedans, and then close. Ronde de jambe en dedans, and close. The suture who goes towards the back leg, as you can see, and steps through to the first arabesque. Fond you, développé devant, fond you, and first arabesque. Fond you, upstage écarté, passé, the closage behind. Fond you, développé devant, brush through, plié, part of it under into the fifth, and then stepping forward down into the en dehors pirouette and close behind, and she will repeat it all on the other side and rise and balance at the end. I'd like to introduce you to Jared, who will be doing a 16 measure adagio. He will turn upstage and demonstrate it so you can see it from the back. Fond you down, opening out, fond you down, and opening out. Fond you down, opening out, fond you down, opening out. Fong you down, opening out, fong you down, open side, passe, 
and into the fourth pirouette on the yaw and close behind. I'd like to introduce you to Desiree and Ivanova, who are going to do a 32 measure adagio for you. They will turn around and face the back and demonstrate it so that you can see it from the back. Arms one and open side two. Tongue du front and a front and one on lair and closing back. Two passes with the upstage leg and down and open, arm down. Another side, and two, and three, and closing back, and passe, and back, and passe, and two. Fong du one, open out to the second, and passe, and close, and then fong du, open out into the second, passe, and close. A little balance, say, onto that side, go back, Stepping into the arabesque, promenade around. That's right, rise in the fifth, passe into the fourth and down, pirouette on the yaw and close it to the back. Stay there.
Jared has a Tongdu combination with Ondé or Pitarets. Tongdu and front, close, side, close, back, close, side, close, tombe, part of array, relevé, out and down, pirouette, tongdu out, down, out, down, out, down, out, down, one part of array, relevé, tongdu down and pirouette, stay there. Eureka will be doing a tongdu and a degage combination with a pitaret. And tongdu, degage, tongdu, degage, and three degages, and three degages. Tongdu, fourth, on de dan, tongdu, fourth, and on de or. Tongdu, degage. Tongdu, de gage, and three de gage, and three de gages. Tongdu, quasi, on de don, pirouette. Tongdu, and down, on de or, pirouette. This is a degage exercise with soutenu. Evenover will be on point, and Desiri will be on the demi point. Arms one and two. Degage, side, side, side. Changing side, side, side. And degage front, 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 and the same thing to the back. Soutenu turn and balance on to the right. Soutenu turn and balance on to the left. Tombe and a part of it under. Pirouette on de or close it behind. Other side. Degage three together. Degage three. And now three devant and three derriere. The soutenu, the accent goes up and the little balance back. Soutenu, the accent goes up, little balance back. Tombe and a part of it under. Pirouette on the oar and close it to the back.
Jared will now do a traveling center practice with an on day or PK pirouette and pas de basque. Arms one and two. And pas de basque, balance, pas de basque, balance, on day or PK pirouette and down. Pas de basque, balance, pas de basque, balance, on day or pirouette and then down. Releve to the écarté, releve, releve, écarté, releve. Tombe, pas de bras under, pirouettes on de yaw and down, and it repeats to the other side. This is a point exercise that Ivanova is going to demonstrate with a rond de jambe on the relevé into a part of her under and a pirouette de on dehors. Arms one and two and relevé, pas de bourré. Rond de jambe, pas de bourré. Relevé passé, this is on face, pirouette on dehors, close it behind. Other side, rond de jambe, pas de bourré. Rond de jambe, pas de bourré. Relevé, passe into the fourth, pirouette en dehors, and close behind. Jared will now demonstrate a waltz combination with the turning waltz into an underdom pirouette. Arms one and two. Waltz forward, waltz back. Turning down stage pique. Releve quasi lunge forward on de don pirouette. Waltz forward, waltz back. Turning down stage pique. Relevé, quasi, into an on de don, pirouette. Ivanova is now going to demonstrate an en dehors combination with a glissade pique and arabesque, relevé into the écarté and a relevé to the back of the knee. Ready? Arms one and two. And tombe pas de bourré. 
pierderets, en dehors, qui s'appliquait en avant, roll down, relevé écarté back, relevé an, other side, tombé, pas de bourré, pierderet en dehors, lower down, qui s'appliquait en avant, roll through the foot, relevé écarté, and back of the knee. Desire now is going to demonstrate a pas de basque with an en dehors turn, releves in fourth devant, and an en dehors pique pirouette at the end. Arms one and two. Pas de basque and a one into the fourth. Pirouette en dehors, close it behind. A little jeté releve, step releve into an en dehors pique pirouette. Lower down to the other side, pas de basque, down, pirouette, and down, relevé, relevé, step over on the or pique pirouette, and then close that behind. Jared is now going to do an underdom pitteret combination. Arms one and two. Pas de basque, up stage and down stage. Tombe pas de basque into fourth. The pitteret is underdom and he's going to step back and change. And pas de basque balance, pas de basque balance, tombe pas de bourre. Change, step back one and present the line at the end there.
Eureka is going to do a releve in écarté and a balancé twice, an underdome pirouette and a soutenue that goes towards the back leg, and this will go in the same direction on the diagonal. Ready? Arms one and two. Releve and balancé. And releve and balancé. Round into the fourth. Underdome pirouette close. Soutenue turn. And releve to the corner balancé. Releve to the corner, balancé fourth into an underdong turn. She will suit a new towards the back leg and the step goes in the same direction. Desiree now is going to do an en dehors pirouette with plain piquets, not turning, plain piquets, running around in a circle into the center, pirouette in attitude to finish. Ready? Arms one and two. Tombe one, pas de bourre. Pirouette en dehors, lower down. Piquet and piquet and piquet, close and then turn in a circle upstage, around into the fourth piruet attitude, en dehors, extending into the arabesque, closing on the demi-point, passe and down. Let's do that on the other side. And, tombe par de bourre, piruet en dehors, lower down, and then pique, three piques, without a turn, and turning in a circle around, into the fourth, into the attitude en dehors, and extending back, closing into the susu, passe, and then down. Jared will now do a ballonet pique attitude twice and an underdome pirouette. And the step goes on the diagonal to the corner. And then you run around and do it on the other side. Ready? Arms one and two. And ballonet pique, change. Ballonet pique and change. Such a new turning, set it up into the fourth, into an underdome turn, closing front. And Ballonet pique, and ballonet pique, and soutenu into an underdong turn and close front.
Now Eureka is going to show you a little petit allegro. It's what we call the warm-up jumps. This is my favorite area in the class, actually. And I think this is the area that really makes or breaks the dancer. So we start with three changements. And change, change, change. Again, change, change, change. Again, change, change, change. Step to the sous-sous into the plié. Tombe, pas de bourré. Relevé into the fourth. Pirouette from the fifth, closing back. And three changements. And of course, we always have to repeat it on the other side. Ivanova's combination is going to be changement with échappés, sea zones, pas de bourrées, lots of steps. Ready? Arms one and two. Change one, change two, change three, change four. Échappé and side, sauté, close in. Second pas de bourrée under. Second part of under, C sewn back, C sewn front, C sewn forward, C sewn back, and of course we repeat it on the other side. Eureka is going to do a combination now, which I really do believe in, which is mixing the jumps and the turns together. Because very rarely in a variation do you just come on and jump or just turn. So what we're starting to do now is bring the jumping into the turning action as well, which is very difficult to leave the floor and stay against the floor into the turns. Ready? Arms one, two, three, four. Change, change, change. Change, 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 balloté, balloté. Balloné, balloné, into the step of a pirouette and closing behind. Other side. Change, 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 balloté, balloté. Balloné, balloné, step over a pirouette, close behind. You will notice that two of them are wearing toe shoes and one is still in the flat shoes. Turning on point, I think, is easier and it's generally faster. But Desiree was on the demi point, so she will be doing single turns on each side. The girls will be doing double turns on each side. Or maybe they can sneak in a triple here and there. Jared's combination again has jumps and turns mixed together with C zones over and C zones on arriere. Those can always be turned into tondequises if you want to make the exercise a little bit more difficult. Ready? Off we go. Échappé, sauté to the back. Échappé, sauté to the back. Coupé, 
assemblée under, si sont arabes, part de under. Si sont over, one en arrière. Over, one en arrière, one step over pillaret, close back, and a soutenu. Mark it on the other side. Échappé, sauté. Échappé, sauté. And an arabesque part of array. Over, back, over, back, and step over, soutenu. But of course, it's much faster than that. Ivanova is going to demonstrate some ballotes and some sea zones together with assemblies. Ready? Arms one, two, three, four. Ballote, ballote, and fuete, faille, assemble, faille, assemble. Sea zone devant, assemble under. Sea zone devant, assemble under. Sea zone over the right. The left, the right, and the left. Other side. Ballote, one to the back, another one front, fuete saute. Faye, assemble, faye, assemble. Si son devant, assemble under, devant, assemble under, si son over, 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 and over. Ivanova is going to combine piquet turns, emboîtés with assemblés and échappés. Arms one and two. Failli, assemblé, échappé, closing behind. Failli, assemblé, échappé, closing behind. Emboîté, emboîté. Piquet turn and another one, tombé. Part of array, other side. Failli, assemble, échappé, changing. Failli, assemble, échappé, changing. To the left, emboîté, to the left, pique turn, tombe, part de bourré. What I've done now is taken four steps, jetés, plain or battu, assemblés, sea zones, and part de braise, and put them together in different ways. So the point of the exercise is that it's not how difficult the steps are, it's the way that you put them together. So this is variation number one. Jeté derrière, jeté derrière, assemblé over, sea zone over, part de bray under, jeté derrière, assemblé over. Jeté derrière, jeté derrière, assemblé and sea zone, part de bray under, jeté derrière, 
assemble over. number two using the same four steps. What I've done this time is repeated the same sequence three times in a row. One and two. Si son, si son, pas de bourre. Si son, si son, pas de bourre. Si son, and a pas de bourre, two jetés and two assemblées. And of course, we repeat that on the other side. In variation number three, I've taken the same steps again in a different sequence and I put three times them together in the same way. Jete, jete, pas de bourre under. Jete, jete, pas de bourre under. Jete, jete, pas de bourre under. Sison over, sison over. Again, jete, jete, pas de bourre. Jete, jete, pas de bourre. Jete, jete, pas de bourre. Si sound over, si sound over. Eureka is now going to do the fourth variation of those same steps. This time we start with pas de char and use a little bit more of the pas de char step rather than the C zones. But I've done the same thing, putting the same sequence together three times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Pas de char, pas de char, pas de bourre. Pas de char, pas de char, pas de bourre. Pas de char, pas de char. Pas de bourre, jete, assemblé, other side. Pas de cha, pas de cha, pas de bourre, pas de cha, pas de cha, pas de bourre, pas de cha, pas de cha, pas de bourre, jete, assemblé, and there's a little weight at the end there. Now we come to the Grand Allegro, which is always the most interesting and exciting time of the class. Off we go, and a balance, a tombe, and one soda char. And balance, a one, and a one soda char. And pique, plie, releve, and releve, and pique, and arabesque, and a grand chateau en tournant, landing back, lunging on the front leg with the arms back.
for our next Grand Allegro, Eurico will demonstrate Fai, ton levé balancé, tombé par de under, glissade, so de char assemblé. There's no glissade into the assemblé. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Glissade, so de char assemblé, susu, fai, and balancé. Tombe pas de bourre, glissade, so de char, straight into the assemblée, into the susu, goes from side to side. As I said before, there's no glissade into the assemblée. Jared is now going to demonstrate a combination including tour en l'air. Fai, ton levé, balancé, and ton levé arabesque, fai through, ton levé, pique turn, fifth into the double air turn, other side. Fai, ton levé, Balancé, arabes, coupé, ton levé, pique, fifth, double turn. This Grand Allegro, Gerard will demonstrate chassé, pas de bray under, assemblé back into a tour en l'air. Chassé, pas de bray under, assemblé back into a tour en l'air. Chassé, pas de bray under, assemblé back into a tour en l'air. Open out into the fourth and down, and pitarets to finish at the end. Eureka is going to demonstrate the turning and jumping part of the class that we usually do at the end. Ready? And chug, 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 releve, pique. Chug, 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 releve, pique. Chug, 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 releve, pique. And then run to the corner. PK turns around the room. One and two and three and step of a turn. One and on the do, on the do, on the or. On the do, on the do, on the do, on the or. PK, PK, and she's just going to run off at the end as she finishes the circle of the PK turns. 
Desiree is going to demonstrate the second half of the combination. Ready? Tombe, part of it under glissade and a so de sha. Tombe, part of it under glissade and a so de sha. Tombe, part of it under glissade and a développe, par de sha. Tombe, part of it under glissade, développe and a par de sha. Now, Jared is going to include entrechassis, tonsiso, turns in second. Ready? And entrechassis, 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 entrechassis. Relevé, and together step, step, and a tonsiso. And step into the fifth, he's going to run around in the circle to the center of the room and do relevé turns in second to the end of the phrase and finish there. Now let's put it all together with the music.
Right now, I'd like to thank my four beautiful dancers and Mr. Stephen Mitchell for his beautiful music. I hope that you have enjoyed our efforts and that you will come and visit us again soon. Bye-bye. David Howard is one of the most respected and admired ballet instructors working in the world today. Born in London, England on June 14, 1937, he was the first and only child to parents Walter and Dorothy Mabel. He began his dance training at a very young age and at 10 received a scholarship to the Cone Ripman School, later to become Arts Educational School. He studied ballet, tap, modern, musical comedy, and Greek dancing. He won the Adeline Genet Medal in 1954 which is the highest award given by the Royal Academy of Dance. Having learned so many different forms of dance came in handy when in 1955 he left school to work at the London Palladium for a variety series. He worked with such stars as Julie Andrews, Howard Keel, Rosemary Clooney, and Debbie Reynolds. One of his favorite memories was doing a show called Night of 100 Stars that featured Mylena Dietrich and Sophie Tucker. It was this stage experience that would later impact David's career as a teacher. He left the Palladium and joined the Sadler's Wells Ballet that later became the renowned Royal Ballet. He performed as a soloist and was with the company for seven years. I first met David, probably it was 1958 or 59, and we were dancing together in the Spanish dance in Swan Lake, in the third act of Swan Lake. And of course, it's a very long time ago, so it's rather hard to remember everything. But David, immediately, I knew that this was a very, very musical dancer. You know? And he was wonderful to dance with because he had so much vitality and life. He's very generous in, in the fact that all that he's amassed in his life, all his experience, he is able to and willing to pass on to the next generation. After dancing many roles with the Royal Ballet, he left to dance with the National Ballet of Canada, only to return to Europe to dance with a group called the Bluebells, after which he danced in a musical called Little Me, directed by Bob Fosse. After an injury, David started teaching tap at his old dancing school and took over the ballet class one day when the instructor never showed up for class. It was soon after that David received a call from New York City from heiress Rebecca Harkness. She was starting a ballet school and looking for trained dancers to bring to New York to train them to teach. David planned to stay for two years and bring back to England as much knowledge as possible. He never did return and stayed at Harkness for 11 years. I first met David way back in the late 60s, early 70s at the Harkness House for Ballet Arts and I was working with the second company and he was ballet master for the first company and would just very occasionally come in and give classes, uh, partnering classes and regular classes. And it was just always a treat to have him because uh, everybody got very warmed up with him. We didn't usually have David Howard back then. Uh, for those of you that have never seen David teach, 
Um, the, most, the most majestic part of his teaching is the use of his voice, which even now when he sometimes doesn't move around as much, his voice just kind of fills up the room. But in the earlier days when he was teach, uh, moving around a lot and his way of correcting was very unusual, he seemed to know exactly where to touch a dancer that would make your body relax yet stretch at the same time. And I, I remember he came over to me and once I think he put his thumb in my forehead and I just felt all my wrinkles disappear and I felt like I was growing taller and longer and leaner. And it was just that little bit of touch that he was able to give, very gentle all the time. His role in the teaching community and how generous David's been to the teaching community for many, many years. When you ask him how, some, you ask me, or I'm sure many of the other teachers, how he's impacted me, I think with a lot of other teachers, you'd, you'd be hard pressed to get as many people who are active in the community teaching that have been influenced. But he's so generous about his work. He allows people like me to benefit from him for 30 years. And that kind of generosity is one of the things that makes him a great teacher. David's work is inspiring. Uh, his personal interest in each and every person that he works with, the detail he's willing to spend time on. Uh, certainly he knows everything uh, about the physicality of the body and how it's going to function and the limitations and whatever. But it's, it's mostly that inspiration and that he loves the dance so very much and wants people to reach so far. So he's inspiring not only the, to the dancer but to other people that teach like myself now again. After his years at Harkness, David opened his own school in 1977. He taught a range of students from the adult beginner to such stars as Gelsey Kirkland, Barishnikov, Cynthia Harvey, Nureyev, and Makarova, just to name a few. Makarova, like many others, became a close personal friend. David fondly remembers a kitten that Makarova had given to him once as a gift. He named the cat Flory. David told me this really funny story one time about uh, Gelsie Kirkland. She was doing Don Q at the Paris Opera and she was off her leg and she got very worried and so she ran back, well, she was backstage, she went to the stage manager's booth, grabbed the phone, called David when he, she was in Paris to him being in New York and said, I'm off my leg, how do I do my fautes? And David over the phone gave her several corrections of what to do. And uh, she said, thanks, hung up the phone. Bam, did her fautes, perfect as ever. And you know, I mean, that, that, it, that shows you the level of dedication that David has to his art form, his friends, his students, uh, you know. And that's why I think people are so loyal to David is because he's such a great guy in that way, and he, and he is so loyal. While at his studio, David formed the David Howard Foundation. One of the criteria was to sponsor young dancers to further their dance education. David closed his studio in 1995, but continues to teach in New York at Steps, Broadway Dance Center, and the New School University, as well as his popular teacher's training courses known worldwide. It seems to make perfect sense to have someone like David Howard on staff here at the university because it's all about the education and, and that really is what David Howard's about is the education and the learning experience. There are a lot of teachers out there, there's some really great teachers, but there are very few dance masters and that's, that's how I see David Howard. He's a legacy, what he teaches, nobody else can teach and nobody else can copy because it's unique to him and it's what he brings to the classroom. So to have him in an educational institution and working with young students it's an honor and privilege for all of us. My experience with David's teacher training began in about 1993. He called me out of the clear blue sky to come down to Venezuela and talk to some teachers. And I thought I was going to be doing a lot of playing, but I ended up doing a lot of talking. And they became more and more part of his teacher training seminar because David feels that music is so important in how he approaches the class and how a class should be taught. So I look at him as more of a musician who teaches dance. After working with David for so many years, I find that I see dancers differently. I find that when I play for his class, my challenge is finding the musicality in his exercise because David has a tune in his head all the time. And he has a tune in his head when he gives the exercise. I get to find out what that tune is and, and decipher it 
and hopefully in help the dancers interpret it with their bodies. That's what makes playing for David's class just so incredible. His class flows from beginning to end. Uh, it's, it's all about his giving. Very little of it is about him. And his teaching is a very generous teaching, keeping us moving with wonderful flowing uh, movement at the bar. And then his Petit Allegro is world famous. And we all love to do it. We loved to do it when we were younger. And now, as we get older, it's, I think it should be copyrighted as an anti-Alzheimer's uh, treatment because it really keeps the mind and the body working and David shows you how you can always, always work and get something and he shows in the way he loves teaching how teaching is such a wonderful profession. He really touches into the soul of dance to start with. Um, you can tell that he's so passionate about understanding the movements, the body, the music, the children, um, just his little note about how about keeping a little file on each student and see how they grow and how they change. He just pays so much attention to detail in all aspects that as an educator, you, you can't deny that. Um, I work with children of all ages, of all intellects, and you have to be an open book. You have to be responsive to their questions, their thoughts, their ideas. And he, he's refueling me, so to speak, right now. He's giving me thoughts and energizing my passion, which is always there, but it's getting a little blast right now. I can't wait to go home and apply some of these ideas that he has. His kinesthetic approach to ballet works, and I find that his class makes me feel like a ballet dancer in a sense, where I'm not <laughs> very near that at all. And um, what I have found is there's something in his rhythms, his musicality and tempos that puts the class together that doesn't have to, you, you become a dancer in his class, which I think is an amazing feat. In a word, I would say about David that he is the greatest teacher there is. He is Mr. Rhythm and Mr. Musicality. This one's for you, David. Presenting the Bob Rizzo line of easy-to-follow instructional dance videos. Learn how to dance from the biggest names on Broadway. With instruction from both front and back views, the videos are fun, clear, and easy to follow. On each tape, simple warm-ups give way to more challenging routines. Designed for the absolute beginner to the Broadway professional, Bob Rizzo videos teach the latest in jazz, tap, ballet, lyrical, hip-hop, funk, acrobatics, yoga, and more. So start building your library today and choose from our most popular tapes. 50 Turns and Jumps is a favorite of dancers and teachers alike. This tape features a variety of turns and jumps to incorporate into class, choreography, and routines. For all you hip-hop enthusiasts, try our best-selling Simply Funk. Learn warm-ups, funky moves across the floor, and a hip-hop routine that's fresh off the streets of New York City. Jazzamataz features three dynamic routines for funk, lyrical, and jazz. For all you tappers, Jermaine Salzberg from the Broadway Dance Center teaches technique as well as routines on several of our tap tapes. Former student Liza Minnelli calls Jermaine a wonderful teacher. In Jazz and Across the Floor, Bob Rizzo leads you in multi-level progressions for jazz and lyrical dance. Bob was dubbed the teacher's teacher from Dance Teacher Magazine. Our popular Dance New York series features dances for all levels, in jazz with Bob Rizzo, lyrical with Ray Leeper, and tap with Alan Onicle. Our specialty video, Dance Tricks, features an abundance of show-stopping moves to incorporate into your choreography and routines. For our children's line, there is Jazz Class for Kids, a one-hour class designed for students 10 to 16 years of age. Learn warm-ups, progressions, and routines for all levels. Simply Yoga features stretching and breathing exercises designed to relax the body in a quiet, soothing atmosphere. 
If swing's your thing, try Simply Swing with popular New York instructor Dan Weltner. Learn all the basics and some exciting variations for both you and your partner. <laughs>